Memphis. What all is, is it Memphis? Memphis? I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, I did see that they are on the marriage boot camp um, for this particular year. And as soon as I saw them on there, I was like, okay, this is the beginning of the end, you know, so, um, but via bossup.com, of course, um, she did sit down with Big Tigger and confirm that she went on the Wee TV show to shave her union. And I quote, I did it so we could make things work, at least take the counseling with Jim and Elizabeth. I can honestly say after filming the show, I learned a lot about myself. Um, I learned about Memph and I. We aren't as compatible as I thought we were. It's crazy. And then um, she said, uh, we're not together. That's no secret. We are getting a divorce. So um, if you remember, Toya got a lot, a lot of flack because uh, she had revealed that she gave him eight hall passes during the relationship. And if you don't know what a hall pass is, that's basically like, a oh, you go ahead and do you for this particular day i'm not gonna ask you any questions about it you know if you ever saw the movie hall pass that's where she got the concept from but um she did say this it's definitely not an open uh marriage <clears throat> she says that the hall pass thing was pillow talk if i did get this man a hall pass it's not for you to know you to know you to know or anybody else to know which I didn't but if I did give him a hall pass I feel like that's my business what works for me might not work for you when you're in a relationship and you have pillow talk with your husband we're talking about something that he asked me about and I was not cool with it and I was like okay you better take this hall pass like that kind of type of talk um to get on national tv and say it really he probably believed it Knowing his wife is crazy as hell, I'm not going down like that. I am not the hall pass girl. So, um, Toya and and Memphis, uh, we wish you both the best. It's another breakup in hip hop. You know, black love. You see a lot, a lot of black love happening um, left and right on these internet uh shows these these tv shows these cable tv shows reality shows you see all that you got the bachelor millionaire matchmaker you got all these different stuff um that people are trying to find love and sometimes you have to really realize in order to obtain love you have to love yourself first so you know sometimes we got to look beneath the material things you know, look for what can a person provide your soul? What can a person provide your mind? You know, not just your body. People miss that. We are a trichotomy being. That means it's three parts of us, you know, and, and that's the mind, the body, and the spirit. You can give your body to anybody, but when you do that, you get certain spirits that'll attack your mind. Your psyche is thrown out. Everything is out the out of whack. And before you know it, you know, the dopamine has faded and, and you look up and realize it's not what I wanted at all. So, you know, wishing best of luck to Toya and Tammy and, you know, Memphis and Walker, you know, everybody involved with their breakups. And speaking of breakups, I have a perfect song to drop in right now. I have a track from Leah Da Vinci and I really feel that this is perfect for what's going on with these topics. You got to do what your heart say. So right now you're tuned in. Got Juice with the Robin H. Leah Da Vinci. Do what your heart say. Leave it to the professionals. I'ma keep it real with you. Nigga think about you. I'ma keep it real with you. Think about you, I'ma keep it real with you Stay on your mind, you stay on mine We not wasting no time, we stay on the grind She got that moolah, I got that moolah She like the fun, I like the fun Gotta do what your heart say, girl, you know Gotta do what your heart say, girl, you know Gotta do what your heart say, girl so what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yo, all about money, baby. Ain't got no time for that. I'm keeping my legs closed. Yeah, nigga, he wanting that. He hitting my DM. Why he fucking his BM? Why she think that I'm wanting? 
in him. Bitch, I got more than him. Jump in the shower, got less than an hour. Got money to make in a day than an hour. Black Merlin Monroe, I start on these hoes. 50 and 50, 100 to show. One of your nigga is unacceptable. Like buying a ride that's unreliable. You niggas hate and you niggas fake. Give me the bread and you eat the cake. Whoa. I want it, girl, I want it, girl. I stay on your mind. You stay on mine. We not wasting no time. We stay on the grind. She got that moolah. I got that moolah. She like the fun. I like the fun. Gotta do what your heart say, girl. You know. Gotta do what your heart say, girl. Girl, you know. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Number one on my line. Damn, I'm not feeling him. Number two on my mind. I think that I'm feeling him. Today I'm a cop of six. I think I need two of them. Tattoos on my passport. We get money like ATMs. These niggas are dumb, these niggas be reaching. I gave you my heart, but the fuck is you cheating? You cruel as by love, don't know fuck by the meaning. I'm on to the next like LeBron, new season. All in my ears, trapping like a bird. Spit, spit in a game that I already heard. Same shit you feed it to the next bitch. Thought, thought, nigga looking like the next bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want it, girl, I want it, girl. I stay on your mind. You stay on mine. We not wasting no time. We stay on the grind She got that moolah I got that moolah She like the fun I like the fun Gotta do what your heart say Girl, you know Gotta do what your heart say Girl, you know Gotta do what your heart say Girl, you know, Girl, you know. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? And we're back. Got juice. It's your girl and Robin H. Lil Javinci just be coming with him. I know people be like, man, Robin always riding for Javinci. But guess what? When you keep coming with bangers, I'm going to keep riding for your ass. How about that? So shout out to Lil Javinci, Marcus Anthony, and Jay Woods on the beat. Travis Crates did the engineering. It was a very dope project. One of my favorite tracks from Leo Da Vinci, believe it or not, Do What Your Heart Say. And but speaking, <laughs> Do What Your Heart Say. Man, this is the most craziest but beautiful divorce story I have ever seen in the history of hip hop. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the Amber Rose Wiz Khalifa split. Uh, TMZ is reporting that Amber and Wiz bottled filed their settlement agreement with the court and she gets a cool million under the prenup. Wiz has already prayed uh, $356,000, excuse me, $356,000 and um, he still owes her $644,000. So um, I'm reading this and, and I'm just skimming across some things. You guys know I like to speak facts and facts alone. So I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. So, yeah, he paid her $356,000 and he owes her $644,000. But she still gets more because she's going to get $14,800 a month in child support for their three-year-old son, Sebastian, whom they share legal and physical custody. Sebastian is such a precious little boy. I, I mean, those cheeks, my God, he is adorable. And, um... For Wiz, he's going to get the Pennsylvania home, 10 cars, including a 69 Chevelle, 68 Camaro, 62 and 64 Impala, and a Porsche, of course. 
<laughs> but the biggest thing is they're both good with the way their divorce ended, which is ultimately good for the kid. And I agree with TMZ on that. That is very good for the kid. So kudos to Amber and Wiz Khalifa. And then Amber actually took to Twitter this week to respond to reports that she and Wiz were out celebrating her divorce. Um, according to Amber, they were celebrating a love for each other. And what it is, is the other night um, around the time, I think maybe Monday night or Tuesday night, maybe, no, it wasn't last night. I think it was Monday night. They were spotted together in a strip club. So people just automatically assumed, hey, maybe they're back together. Um, Amber Rose came on Twitter. Y'all know the queen of claps came back and said, too much fun with my ex hubby last night. And no, we didn't celebrate our divorce. We celebrated our love for each other because that never goes away with the heart emoji. So um, kudos to Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa for being grown folks. Like, for real. For being grown people to make sure that this divorce does not just affect them it affects their child so kudos to them to making sure that you know hey we didn't work out but we're adults we still got love for each other we not in love with each other made a beautiful baby boy bouncing baby boy sebastian why not (laughs) so uh hats off and kudos to amber rose and uh Wiz Khalifa and she was recently um uh let me see what you call it? linked linked to a baller um Terrence Ross um was uh linked to Amber Rose they were dating for three months he's the Toronto Raptor uh ball player And um, it seems like they confirmed that they broke up. So maybe, you know, he found out, you know, that she was still like that, you know, when it comes to Wiz and he couldn't take it. And then he said and deleted, um, if people refuse to look at you in a new light and they can only see you for what you were, only see you for the mistakes you made. If they don't realize that you are not your mistakes, then they have to go. And um, he didn't put anything else um, all the pictures that he have with Amber on his, um, Instagram, they're all gone. So, um, that's a wrap. So that was real fast. I guess, um, Amber Rose was like, no, you know, I mean, I'm divorcing, I'm trying to get some other stuff together in my life. So, um, I'm not going to be able to just be, you know, serious about somebody right about now. And, and that's what it is. Um, you know, sometimes, but of course, uh, Amber Rose did come back the queen of clapbacks. Y'all know I love my Amber Rose. She said when you, uh, she posted a real pretty picture of herself looking real, real petty as usual. And she said, when you think about all of the quote unquote whole shit you've done and she put a smile with blushing. So of course that's her way of saying, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. That was just some whole shit. So, uh, shout out to Amber Rose. You know, she doing her thing. People say what they want about Amber, but Amber gets it in. You know, she really gets it in. And then to another story, um, I, I know by now everybody's heard about the Troy Ave shooting at the T.I. concert. Well, here's an update with that. Um, Troy Ave is being charged with attempted murder for his role in a deadly shooting that took place in May at a T.I. concert in New York City's Urban Plaza. And it is via HipHopWired.com. Shout out Hip Hop Wired. I love Hip Hop Wired. If I uh, tweet them, they tweet me back. They're they're very, very, very interactive with their fans and their audience. So major shout out to HipHopWired.com. Um, back to the story. Um, so yeah, Troy Ave is being charged with attempted murder. Um, the NYPD did release a video with a man appearing to be Troy Ave shooting in the VIP section. Three people were injured by gunshots excuse me, injured by gunshots, including himself, his close friend and bodyguard, Ronald McFadder, was shot and killed in the chaos. Um, Troy Ave's lawyers have claimed that their client is the real victim, saying that he did not start the chain of events that led to the shooting, nor did he shoot himself in the leg. In the wake of the shooting, multiple hip-hop shows have been canceled in New York, and T.I. has seen one of his gigs in Florida get canned as well. Um, He has recently... uh, 
be releasing a a mixtape and um so he just went ahead and released a mixtape called uh free troy ave and um on the tape he opens up with the freestyle over the phone from behind bars